speaking of getting product in hand, one of my personal favorites is the uh, Samsung Galaxy Book Pro. Um, mm-hmm. Love Thank it. You. It's 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 a uh, I think one of my favorite Evo devices. But one thing to me I've noticed as a trend with all Evo devices is, aside from being just fantastic and uh, <laughs> beautiful, they're they're thin, right? They're made for mm-hmm. the person who's on the go, uh, long yeah. battery life. Um, but it is for kind of what we call, you know, the ultra portables, the ultra books, a, a term that Intel's coined in the past. But there are so many different types of PC users out there, right? Device mm-hmm. users, they have, there are um, gamers, right? That either who have big desktops or people who want gaming laptops. Now, Evo has been very focused on kind of the, the thin and light segment. Was that just the, the, um, the scope of the research or does this research actually encompass more and kind of the, the um, road warrior uh, or <laughs> at home worker these days is, is kind of the, the main yeah. focus. How, what's the extent and the, the breadth of, of the human centric research? Uh, so that has, has been really interesting. So as you say, we started with Athena and, and Intel's had um, social science and, and um, kind of other user focused um, approach actually for a long time. And you know, we've, we've been in different parts of the organization. We've, we've kind of tried to tackle this problem um, from, from some different directions before um, and, and been focused on, some, on, on different problems. Like we have a, a, um, a big group of uh, researchers and designers who focus on developer problems, for instance. So this kind of specific um, kind of practice of, of trying to like really focus on that whole laptop experience right down to the platform and silicon level for um, for Athena has turned out um, actually to be very successful. So we then kind of expanded that. So when I said back at the beginning that I'm part of uh, research and experience definition for our client um, platforms, we do that across the different segments. So I have um, researchers and, and designers who are focused on gaming, um, who are focused on on creators, who are focused on education, and you know, and there's a crossover there. So those some of those beautiful Evo systems are bought by people who are creators. Some of them are bought by um, you know students, probably more higher education students. But you know, kind of they're not they're not super distinct um, in that way for people. You know, they, people we we ha- we wear many many hats as we as we move between our lives so um but it definitely is an an approach that we're bringing to more areas of our work within intel that we can say okay let's let's really think about what those requirements are and how do we design um how do we enable the platforms of the future because i think it's really interesting to think about um you know the, the kids who are going to college now um will be entering the workforce in four years. So as we're designing silicon that's going to be ready in four years, in like 25, we need to be ready for them. You know, it, it's going to be emerging at the same time. So understanding the things that they're doing now, the things that they're starting to do, um, you know, that, that's important to us because, you know, how you kind of learn often, often in kind of college and in your first few work experiences, you know, the, the growth of, of cloud-based collaboration has been happening for a long time, and it, it, it's a lot driven by um, sort of the, the experiences of people within education. So what I'm hearing from you is, you know, Project Athena is an ongoing project, even though we launched Evo, this is not a one and done, the work yeah. continues. Subscribe to Intel Chip Chat wherever you get your podcasts to be notified when new episodes drop.